Hello, hello, hello. Sorry there, it took me a second. Um, I'm going to, I'm going live here on Facebook. Uh, I'm also going to go live here on YouTube. Uh, if you just give me a second, I am also want to, you know, share this, kind of let folks know um, that I'm out here trying to make a little difference. Give me a second as I do that. How's everybody doing? I hope you are doing well. Um, you know, and uh, looking forward to uh, having this time with you. Just give me a few seconds. You know, we're learning these new things with technology. Um, yeah, and I'm just super excited um, to bring you what I'm gonna call the four C's of leadership going live on my YouTube channel, uh, which I'm trying to uh, get some folks to chime in with. I may not be able to see your comments because I'm learning um, how this is working, but uh, give me a second. Let's see if we can go live on my YouTube channel and then I'm gonna jump in. Either way, if you're watching on Facebook, you're gonna get this great content that I hope will make you a stronger leader. If you would, while I'm waiting on this to go live on YouTube, if you would uh, like this, share it, um, tag some leaders uh, that you know. This is not just leadership. I believe that is applicable to ministry. I believe it is leadership that can help you um, no matter what field you're in, no matter what level of leadership you're at. Um, I believe we have the opportunity um, to help enhance you as a leader, to be all that God is calling you to be. So if you would, again, uh, share this for me. Uh, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping um, that I can get this to go live um, on my YouTube page. But if it doesn't, that's cool because we're just learning together and I can save it. So. Uh, maybe that is the way for us to go at this point. If you logged on um, this morning, uh, you might have seen that I was doing some work um, um, that I doing some work uh, with Cleveland Clinic. Um, and so uh, really, really thankful. So I want to jump right in um, right now today uh, because I just want to just give you what I consider right now in this season to be the four C's of leading through crisis. Leading through crisis is a difficult time um, for everyone. Um, as you may well know, um, there is no manual on leading in the midst of crisis. There's no class in seminary. There's no class in an MBA program. There's no class in organizational leadership. Uh, course, uh, but it is uh, something that we learn on our feet uh, as we go, right, as we go. So I want to just spend a little bit of time, um, you know, today just giving you just for a few short minutes the four C's. Here's the first C of crisis. It is every leader needs clarity. Every leader needs clarity in a crisis. Um, if your leader does not have clarity, nobody wants to follow. And it's not that in the midst of crisis, we don't have all the answers, but we need to prove as leaders, here it is, that we can see clearly in a crisis. We can see clearly in a crisis. And so uh, as a leader, even if you are, uh, you know, leading in the midst of on your job at a medical facility, people are looking to you as their leader to be clear about what it is we're doing, where we're going, um, and that in fact you can be trusted to see things clearly. But part of what it means for you to have clarity uh, as a leader, here it is, is number two, is for you to have composure as a leader. 
Um, oftentimes, women leaders in particular are accused of being irrational and being emotional. But I will tell you, in the midst of this pandemic, I have seen all types of people. Uh, some folks have wound tighter together. Some folks have unwound. But composure. I can't trust my leader with clarity if my leader does not have composure of their emotions. Let me give you an example. Uh, Saturday morning, I was doing my second funeral for the week. And to be honest with you, Saturday morning, I was an emotional mess. I could not stop crying. I was overwhelmed. Watch this. But I knew I could not walk into that funeral and lead that family if I did not have time to compose my emotions. And so I had to take a time out. I had to sit down and do some meditative exercises that I'm doing in this season to compose myself. People want to know that their leader can keep it together. It's just that simple. And so number one, clarity. Number two, composure. Here it is. Number three, certainty. Number three, certainty. Our job as leaders is at times to deliver tough news, at times to be honest that we don't know. However, it is important that your leader is certain that we will have victory in the end. We may not win the battle, but we will win the war. And so when a leader can say to those who follow, I am certain in my context, that God will bring us through this. I am certain that this product will make the difference in the lives of people. I am certain that this is the direction we're supposed to go. When you and I as the leader are uncertain, people will fall off, he, okay? And so number one, clarity. Number two, composure. Number three, certainty. Here's number four, consistency. What people need in this day and age is consistency. As leaders, we cannot sign up for what we can't consistently deliver. So an idea may come to you from the East, from the West, but if you are not consistent, People will not trust your leadership. Do you need a break? Yes, you do from time to time. But you can't be spotty. You can't be here and there. You have to be consistent. So if you're just joining us, the four C's of leading in crisis are this. Number one, clarity. Prove you can see clearly. Number two, composure. Show me you can keep it together. Number three, certainty. Your optimism determines who follows you. And number four, consistency. Keep at it and be reliable. These are four simple C's that as leaders, before you start your day, maybe have a meditative moment and center your thoughts around these four areas, check in. If it's not a good day emotionally for you, Maybe this is not the day for you to lead uh, the meetings that you have. You may have to take a mental health break. Uh, the landscape of ministry in particular has completely changed as a result of COVID-19. So the schedule that worked for me before doesn't work for me now. And so in order for me to lead and to lead effectively, I had to shift how I do things because clarity, composure, Certainty, certainty and consistency are what matters. I want to leave you with this and I'll get out of your hair. You can go back to what you were doing. Remember, the greatest gift I can offer the people I lead is to be a well-rested, focused, decisive, and healthy leader. That is my wisdom to you today. I hope it blesses you and adds value to you and adds value to your life. I love you. Take care and be blessed.